there should always be space for black and brown artists, any marginalized group really, to take up space on our terms. That's the thing that's missing from a lot of the programming, is that people get their budgets and then they tell you what they want to do. We say no. BLM Fest is here to actually advocate for people to make sure that we take up space on our terms where we feel safe and we can actually deliver our best work because we feel great. So I started working with CounterPoints uh, a couple of years ago. What I've asked for is for them to mentor my company. It's a young company and they are a company, an organisation who've been doing fantastic work. And so I want to know how to do that on a long term basis for BLM Fest. So CounterPoints Arts mission is to support the arts by and about refugees and migrants in order to ensure that their contributions are welcomed and recognised within our arts, history and culture. We've been collaborating with VNA for a number of years and this year came up this opportunity to invite Black Lives Matter Festival to program as part of their Friday Late. The ambition for us is to use our existing collaborations and partners and to share them with other partners including Black Lives Matter Festival in order to give them bigger prominence and bigger profile. Refugee Week is one of our flagship programs. We are the producers and coordinators of that festival. When we start working with, with an institution or an artist, it's always with the view that it's longer term because we know that in order to create change that we want to create, it doesn't happen overnight. An example is the South Bank Centre. We worked with them for the last maybe seven or eight years. Uh, and through that time, our relationship has evolved and over the years, the programme has expanded. CounterPoints Arts are an incredible collaborator. It's one of the truest collaborations I've ever actually worked on. We have a shared set of values. We have the same belief system and I think that's the best place to start. Um, they bring lived experience, they bring expertise that we might not have in-house. Um, which is really valuable. We're guided by them a lot. Um, they introduce us to new artists that we might not have met before. Um, and together we, we work on what I hope is a really exciting programme that speaks to lots of people. This, this commission in particular uh, was such a, a great experience because the collaboration that CounterPoints Arts um, had with Southbank Centre and with us and in that very collaborative process of development, it, it is really, uh, it can really be an avenue to dismantle uh, cultural spaces as very static and very um, unaccessible uh, platforms for expression. When we received the Backbone Award from Paul Hamlin Foundation, it was a great deal for us. So the award gave us self-confidence, opened up new opportunities for us, helped us improve our longer term sustainability. But it also enabled us to expand the reach and impact of our work and the programs that we developed. So over the last four years, we have overseen Refugee Week, for example, doubling in size. We have increased our commissioning program massively, particularly during the COVID times when many of the artists from our network were facing serious precarity and we thought that was a good moment for us to increase financial and other support for our artists and networks. But we have also identified our ongoing uh, program of activity around supporting the artists who are using the language and working in the, in the section of the migration and racial justice. And Awate is a brilliant example of an artist who works and does beautiful work in that intersection between racial justice and migration. I think what makes CounterPoint art unique is there's a, um, an emotional literacy and artistic literacy and cultural literacy of what it is like to be an immigrant as well that the, um, that the team have, which I haven't found uh, that level of, of care and breadth of, of expertise anywhere else.